Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again. I'm a little bit sick but I received a very urgent question from a student in my Udemy course. And this is from Shahab. And Shahab asked me how to know the emergency lighting factor for each emergency lighting fixture. And then I answered him, uh, well, because it depends if it's for central battery system or standalone or built in inside the luminaire and he said uh, yes it's for a built-in battery okay then I said yes okay I will create a video <laughs> and then I forget this one and then now I, he uh, he made a follow-up and then I need to do it now okay so uh, she have yes it's really it depends on the type of the luminaire that you're going to use it's either a built-in battery inside the fitting or it's connected to the central battery system for emergency or to a generator okay so for example uh because your concern is uh the the factor well it depends on the luminaire uh, this is the rule of thumb as long as you can get at least um uh, 400 to 600 on the luminaire then you can have your emergency version for the fitting because because of the amazing feature of led with its uh, driver you can uh, immediately set how many lumen output or what is you can make as an emergency fitting okay say for example you have a fitting of 48 watts okay just look at this table say for example your original normal operation is 48 watts you can have an emer emergency version of this same fitting with only 7 watt to get a uh, 4 400 lumen output okay maybe <laughs> you don't understand okay let's do it now in dialogs i already opened the dialogs and what we're going to use as example is this torn fitting iq wave okay this iq wave is can be used both in normal operation and emergency version so it means it has a built-in battery inside the fitting okay always remember there are fittings that has a built-in battery and there are that doesn't have which is connected to the central battery system or to gen generator okay so this one that we're going to use for this example is a built-in battery inside the fitting okay so this is a 60 by 60 and you can see here, if you take a look in these details, the lumen output for a normal operation is 3,200 lumen. And for a total emergency lumen output is only 300 lumen. So it's like 10% only of the total normal output of the fitting. Okay, so maybe you're still thinking, uh, is it the usual 10%? no it depends always because you can have a 5000 lumen uh, fitting and then if you want to get only the 300 lumen for emergency then it's not uh 10 percent it's less than okay okay so this is the idea as long as you can get a 300 to 600 lumen output for your emergency that is good that is the usual percentage for your emergency Okay, let's do it now. I'm going to get the ULD file for this one. And we are going to use it in our dialogs. So now it's here. So I have a simple room here. And I go to the plan view. And then I will just automatically place the arrangement. Okay, I will just make it two by two. Okay, so she have this is a normal room with a 60 by 60. And then I am planning to use this fitting, one of these fittings to be an emergency fitting. Okay, so these are the four normal luminaire in the normal operation. But one of these fitting will be an emergency one. So what I'm going to do, I will select this one. And then I will go to this emergency luminaire. And then I will use this as emergency. So it's, it says automatically here that this fitting has 300 lumen 100% for an emergency. But say for example, I select this one. Okay, because I selected the photometric file that has an emergency version. But in reality, the usual fitting for this one, if it's not an emergency, is 3,200 lumen. Remember that in the, yeah, it's, it's here, 3,200 lumen. Okay, so if I run a calculation, of course, I can get a normal operation for this three as a normal 3,000 lumen, and this one will be uh, 300 lumen only. 
Okay, let's see how it looks in the false color. Okay, right now I can see that uh, these are all still normal, okay? But if I go, for example, yeah, it's normal. If I go, for example, for the emergency version here, so I will go and select light scene, and then I will run a calculation again for this emergency light scene. Yes, so I, I hope I can see it now. Yeah, so you can see now that this is the emergency version. Okay, so uh, now let's go back to your question. So your question now is, again, what is the emergency lighting factor? Okay, so the, the answer is it depends on how you set your LED fitting into a certain percentage <clears throat> as your emergency lighting factor but the usual okay i can suggest now that make it 10 percent of the original lumen output like for example in this case that we have this uh, iq wave or 60 by 60 fitting has 3200 lumen for a normal operation and the total emergency lumen is only 300 if it's emergency version so it's like 10 percent okay so yes, to answer your question again, make it 10% to make yourself safe. But if in case the 10% is too high for an emergency version or too low, then you can add it. You can make it 20% or 5% as long as you will get 300 to 600 lumen output. Okay, so the answer is it depends. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. And uh, Shihab, if my answer is not uh, still clear let me know because actually i am creating and writing my new book the emergency lighting design techniques and also i'm creating my new course about this emergency lighting design techniques in udemy i will uh, teach you here about what are the types of um, the emergency fittings and um, I'm going to use the Lighting Guide 12 from Sibse as a guide for this course. So yes, and we will use Dialux Evo software to tell you how to do it in actual lighting simulation. Okay, so yes, just watch, uh, wait for this one. Um, it's almost finished, this emergency lighting design techniques. I'm just going to finish my other pending uh, course and then let's see okay so i hope you learned something today and if you have more questions just let me know make a comment or post a, a message in my facebook or uh, in my whatsapp or here in my youtube channel okay so see you again on the next video and of course don't forget to subscribe and and enroll in my udemy courses okay so see you again on the next video mm -hmm.